Hi everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, big questions today. Are you doing too much? Are you always saying yes and never giving yourself a chance to say no and take time for yourself? Big, big questions. Are you working harder, not smarter? Are you um, going and doing things that you don't want to do um, because you feel guilty, because you people need you or want you to be somewhere, and the, therefore you're doing the I have to's and not the I want to's. Um, really tough subject actually. Uh, for me personally, I like to give, give, give. I like to do, do, do. But in the long run, if I overschedule myself, I just set myself up for crash and burn. Um, we've all felt that way. I'm sure one time or another in your lifetime you have gotten to the end of the week and you felt completely fried, you feel stressed out, you're exhausted mentally and physically, and um, you're cranky and you're not sleeping and your digestion's all screwed up and maybe for some people with all that stress you are actually holding on to unnecessary weight. I call that emotional weight. Um, and those are big questions to ask yourself. Are you constantly burning yourself out? Are you constantly saying yes to your family, your kids, your spouse, your partner, your work, um, and friends, and everybody else? And then at the end of the day, you're not filling your own cup up with the things that you want to do. Um, and this includes over, you know, over exercising and over activities and all the things that is excessive in your life. Um, it's really important for your nervous system to have downtime. And that downtime may be that you're just sitting quietly and staying in for a night, or that you're going for a walk because that's something that you enjoy and it's replenishing you and you're stepping away from work, you're stepping away from the, the have-dos and you're doing the things that you want to. Um, is is exercising becoming something that's not fun anymore because you're pushing yourself so hard because you feel the pressure of having to stay healthy and having to go to the gym or to yoga. I mean, we certainly in this industry of health and wellness, I will tell you nobody, not one instructor I would think, would want any of their students to be saying, oh God, I have to go work out or I have to go to yoga or I have to go do this because we, want you to come because you are feeling happy about your transformation and that that is something that you want to do. But if things are becoming a chore and you're not happy doing them, then step back and think about that. Are you, every time somebody asks you to do something, are you immediately saying yes and then putting it on your schedule and on your, and piling it onto your plate and now you're totally stressed out because you don't know how you're gonna get all this stuff done? How about try this? Somebody asks you to do something, or uh, you know your your kids need a ride, or you know whatever it is, uh, work needs something. Instead of saying yes right away and okay, yeah, I can do it, I can do it. I'm super person, I'm super mom, or super dad, or super you know man, or super woman, or whatever whoever you are. Instead of saying that, why don't you just step back for a minute and say, uh, let me check my schedule, and I will get back to you. Step back, look at the big picture, look at your week and say, is this gonna be good for me? Am I allowing myself any time for me? Because at the end of the day, or at the end of the week, if you haven't filled your cup, you're nothing to anybody. You're completely stressed out, you're burnt out physically and mentally, you are exhausted, and you're cranky, and you're not fun to be around. I'll, I'll tell you right now, I've, if I do too much, I am no good to anybody. So that's something that I openly admit. I need my downtime. Um, it's very hard for me to take that downtime because I feel like you know I'm pulled in so many directions and I'm sure many of you feel that way. But in the long run, you're going to digest better. You're going to be mentally clearer. You're going to be more rested. Your body's actually going to function like a thousand times better if you're balanced and rested and focused and clear. So you're in the, I mean, if you're thinking about health-wise and burning calories and metabolism and, and digestion, all of that is going to function much better. You're gonna see much better results in your daily activities if you're feeling 
rested, you're not overworked, you're not piling everything on and feeling stressed out and then, you know, having these little mental breakdowns. I'm not saying that everybody does, but, you know, it could happen. So ask yourself the question, are you working harder, not smarter, or smarter, not harder? Can you refill your cup throughout the day or throughout the week or throughout the month enough so you have enough of that of your own energy and your own filling that you can now give out. It's just like food. If you're if you're not putting any food into your body and you're constantly working out, you're not going to do your body any good. It's not going to it's not going to have any benefits. You're just going to be depleted and feel like crap. So, if you're able to fill your body not just nutrition wise, but also with the things that you want to do and not feeling stressed out about all these things, oh, I have to go here now, I have to go there, then your whole entire mind, body, spirit is going to be more balanced. I know it sounds simple, but I'm going to tell you right now, I watch people on a daily basis uh, in classes or out in the outside world. I, I observe people and I see a lot of people just revving their engines on zero gas and not really taking the time to step back and say, is this whatever I'm saying yes to going to be good for my spirit and my mind and my body or am I just going to load on more that's going to stress me out? So the next time somebody says to you, hey, can you do this or I need you to do this or I, you know, hop, you know, uh, can you do this event or can you do this at work or can you give me this ride mom or whatever it is, step back and look and say, wait, how can I do this in my week and still be feeling like I have done something for myself? Whether it be going to a yoga class, sitting quietly, meditating, taking a walk, uh, having a day, your kids will survive if you say, I'm going to take an hour and go do something for myself. They will actually appreciate you more if you do that. So take the time, step back, instead of saying yes right away, step back and say, hold on, I'm going to check and see if I can do that. Nobody needs an immediate response right away. I'll be back to you in five minutes, an hour, I'll get back to you by the end of the day. Process it before you say it because if you just keep saying yes, you're going to get to the end of the week and you're going to feel completely run down and that's not going to be good for anybody. It's not going to be good for your body, your mind, your spirit, or the people in your life that um, need you. So take the time, step back, take a breath, think about it before you say yes, and then decide whether or not it's going to be something that's doable in your week. Hope you have a great day. Namaste.